Hello friends, it's Reva Brown and I'm here with the third lesson in basic Hebrew calligraphy. And I wanted to clarify something for you um, that I talked about in the first two lessons and that is the 72 degree angle. So just in case you don't know this, I imagine most of you do, this is a protractor. You may remember it from high school algebra. You take the center tick mark, that's the center of the circle, and it's got 360 degrees around the outside perimeter. And you put a little mark on your page where the center is, and then you read off from 0 to 72, and I've got the 0 right here on my baseline. And then just for clarification, I'm also going to show you a 90 degree angle. So then when you draw a line connecting the 72 degree mark and the origin, that's the angle that you get, 72 degrees. And then this is 90 degrees square to the writing line. Here's your writing line. And that's 90 degrees, a right angle. So once again, I'm using the... Um, three-quarter inch automatic pen and I'm still lettering opposite direction from what you would normally letter Hebrew because it just means I don't have to worry about um, smearing it because I'm right-handed. So we've already talked about the Yud, the Vav, the Nun, and the Gimel. Now I want to show you a Nun so feet. Now I'm going to put this down at a 72 degree angle and you can see how those lines are parallel. And I'm going to begin this letter just as I began the nun. And the nun so feet, that is the first stroke for the nun. And if you were making a nun, you would join it with the baseline stroke. The nun so feet is the form of the nun that you see when the nun is at the end of a word. So feet means end. And then this comes down another three pen widths. One, two, three. Next is a resh. Again, looking at the vav, it's got a little short top, and then it changes direction and gets pulled down. But a resh has a long horizontal bar across the top. You can think of this as being as long as the letter is high. And now you rotate the pen nib through that corner. I said rotate. You don't change the position of the pen. You move the pen through the curve and then you pull the stroke straight down. So this is a right angle and this is a right angle, and this is 72 degrees, and this is 72 degrees, as is this. Okay, next I want to look at the huff. Now, if I were writing um, some text in Hebrew, 
some, you know, more than a word or two. There are ascenders on a line of text, so you need two spaces between your line of writing to make room for the ascenders on this line and the descenders on the line above it. But for right now, not an issue because we're just going with letters that don't have an ascender at all. So here's the huff. And see how it looks like a race so far? And it ends like the, uh, the nun does above the line of writing. Here's the line of writing. And then it repeats this long, wide stroke joining up at the end of the first stroke, and that is the chaf. The chaf sofit has the same top, the same corner turn, and now you're going to finish it like you did for the nun sofit. So it's a big long letter. So you have the you know, wet ink. Nun so feet. The Raish. Nun so feet. Raish. Chaf. And the Chaf so feet. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more. Reva Brown. Bye-bye.